And goes up strong, and she have two. She have two shots coming up for Allen. Yeah, uh, I've seen a few times when they get stripped coming off of that ball screen on the right wing. Um, in that situation, you either got to make that pass when you draw the help defender, or retreat out and go the other way. Or as Nyla makes the first free throw, either retreat out, go the other way, or just retreat out and make the pass to the next person and um, keep the play going. And Maya asked me was who the foul was called on. Allen goes one for two. It is tip. She gets her own rebound, something that Benedict cannot let happen. Nyla goes baseline, goes over the layup. Two shots coming up again for Allen. Yeah, you can't let the shortest person on the court get her own rebound. And before the first foul, she got her own rebound on that possession too as well. Head coach James Rice has to be furious with this team. You can't let the free throw shooter get their own rebound. Let alone the shortest person on the court. Deja Harden has now checked in for Benedict. Maya Goldman is also checked in for Benedict. And we have a substitute for Savannah State as well. Josiah Holmes is subbed in for Savannah State. First free throw is good for Allen. Second to tip is good. Allen goes two for two from the free throw line. We have a substitution for Savannah State. Kendra Williams will now check in for Savannah State. Sitting down will be Hamari Hurd. Nyla Allen will also sit down as well. Whole new lineup for both teams. Almost was a steal by Maya Burt. They get it up the court. Benedict looking. Out pass. Three coming up. No good. Rebound, Benedict. They pass it out, penetrate the defense off the backboard. Good, that shot is good. E Elasia Nash with the basket was scored by Kalia Hamilton. She loses her hand a little, but it remains Savannah State's ball. Yeah, she was kind of dribbling right in front of her defender from that projection right there. Kalia Hamilton with the good hands. Kalia can guard it by Deja Hardy, who gives her no airspace. Hamilton hands it off to the side of 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 the the dunker spot for an easy layup. Deja Harden calling out the shots. She looks back at Coach Rice. Calling out the signals. Harden looking. Bounce passes it down to Goldman. She couldn't receive it, but it's Harden received the bottom of it. 13 seconds left on the shot clock. Harden cut off by Hamilton. Hamilton looking. Nowhere to go. Puts up a jump shot. No good. Rebound Madison Golden. She dishes it out to Deja. Deja looking. 17. She puts up a three. Good. Oh, wow. Deja Jackson connects from the three-point bucket. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a good shot right there, too. Especially with the shot clock winding down. That was a great shot by her. Talia Hamilton receives a screen from Jones. Bounce passes it down to Jones. Jones looking. They swing it around the perimeter. Bird receives a screen. Bird, spin move. We have a foul on the floor. Alasia Nash is who the foul was called on the floor. 11 seconds left on the shot clock. As we have both teams on the Benedict Athletic. I'm your host, Travis Petty. Alongside me is Jamal Rowland. We'll be right back as both teams come out of timeout. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and parenting education coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center. 
an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses, it gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy. Welcome everyone back to the Black College Sports Network where Savannah State has the ball with 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Maya Bird will be the inbounder. Bird digits it out to Amaya Her Her tries to go up. She was rejected by Maya Golden. Joshua Jones from three. Good. Mm -hmm. After the pass from Amari Hurd. Way to be ready to shoot by Jones and knock it down the open three. Madison Golden and Amari Hurd have been chirping from the start. We have a three coming up for Benedict. No good. Rebound to Shia Holmes. Allen pushing the tempo, something that she loves to do. Hands it off to Bird. It's swinging around the perimeter. Jones with the straight the screen from Josiah Holmes. Josiah with a nice move, pass it out to Amaya Hurd. They're giving her the three-point attempt. She kicks it out to Maya Bird. Bird looking, pass it back out to Hurd. Hurd gets inside, mid-range jump shot, no good. Re gets her own rebound, looking. This is the town to Josiah Holmes. She goes up, uh, no good, rims out. Deja Harden with the rebound. She'll not bring the ball up the court, calling out the shots, guarded by Nyla Allen. Hands it off to Kaya Evans. Three-point attempt coming up. No good. Rebound, Maya Bird. Outlet pass. It was stolen by Deja Harden, looking like a receiver. Deja passes it down to Golden. Golden kicks it out to Kaya Evans for three. No good. Rebound, Mari Hurd of Savannah State. Then they need to go back to getting it inside because that's what they're bread and butter and keeping this game close. Allen gets inside. What a dish off to Holmes. Good. Deshaya Holmes after the assist from Nyla Allen. Two minutes and 32 seconds left in this first quarter. Harden looking great. Hedge by Holmes. Harden goes up strong and it was fouled. Mm. Two shots coming up for Deja Harden. The foul was committed by Josiah Holmes. Imani Hamilton checking in at the scores table for Savannah State. Yeah, when she came off the screen, there was really nobody there to get back in front of her, thus allowing her to get that deep and drawing that foul. Imani Holmes will replace Josiah Holmes. Two shots coming up for Deja Harden. Harden, free throw is no good off the left side of the rim. Second attempt coming up for Harden. Harden connects one or two from the free throw line. We'll have a substitution for the Benedict Tigers. Briasia Lester was tucked in, and Madison Golden will go sit down. Benedict still in that full court press. Nyla Allen bringing the ball up the court, guarded by Kaya Evans. Allen looking, hands it off to Deshaya Jones. Bird now with the ball. Bird receives a screen from Imani Hamilton. She's hedged. Doesn't seem phased by it. Bird looking, looking, looking. Hands it off to Allen. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Allen, series, a crossover move. Penetrates, kicks it out to her. Her pass it out to Josiah Jones. Three-point attempt coming up for Jones, and she mm. connects. That's her second straight three made. He definitely got to get out to her and contest that. A great shot by Josiah Jones. 43-35, Savannah State with the eight-point lead. Harden runs out of triple. Stolen by Josiah Jones after the backdoor cut. It was failed by Kaya Evans. Bird now with the ball. Gets it inside to Hurd. Hurd looking. Bounce pass to Imani Hamilton. Bent Ray jump shot. And she connects on the left side. Savannah State now with the double digit lead 45 35. Deja passes it outside to Elasia Nash. They swing it around the perimeter. Harden looking, looking, looking. Gets it inside. 
And it'll be a turnover by Benedict. After she tried to look inside to Gallman, Emaya Gallman, but she could not keep her hands on it. It'll be a turnover for Benedict. Shakira Duncan will check in for Benedict as long as side Deja Jackson. Deja Harden will sit down. And so will Emaya Goldman. Deja Jackson guarding Nyla Allen. They trap her. She splits the double team, but was loses it. Mm. Right into the hands of Elijah Nash. Elijah Nash dribbling. Oh, oh she definitely, carried. yeah. She double dribbled. And that's something that Coach Rice cannot believe. You had a transition point. You had a three-on-one break after the steal. You want yeah. to get points off of that, but it results in a turnover. Yeah, she got indecisive of whether or not she wanted to pass it to Shakira Duncan, and she ended up putting it back down because the pass got closed. Thread the needle pass from Bird to Hurd. Yeah. It would be a turnover for Savannah State. She tried to throw a needle pass to Amaria Hurd down court, but she put a little bit too much mustard on it. Turnover for Savannah State. Madison Golden will now sub in for Benedict. Benedict's, uh, the woman Tigers for Benedict, they were a really turnover pro team. I'm actually kind of surprised Savannah State don't, don't have more transition points opportunities than we're accustomed to seeing from them. And that shot was put up by Kaya Evans. It was no good and went out of bounds. Savannah State ball with 43 seconds left. But perhaps, though, Benedict also, too, they're doing a great job, too, in getting back despite the few outlet passes that Savannah State have had over the course of this game. Creasia Lester were now subbed in for Madison Golden. Allen being trapped in the backcourt. She's looking, lobs it up to Bird. And almost a steal by Kaya Evans. Bird pushes the pace. She gets inside. What a pass to her, and it's good. That basket was by Amaya, Amari Hurd. Heard the flexes out of bounds and will remain Benedict's ball. What a great feat from Maya Bird to Amari Heard. Something that they have done all year long, the great duo that Savannah State has. Aliyah Carlock will now sub in for Savannah State. Sitting down will be Amari Heard. 20 seconds left in this first quarter. Kaya Evans being guarded by Deshaya Jones. She bounced past it. It was a kick ball by Deshaya Jones. Shot clock no longer on. 17 seconds left in this first quarter. Madison Golden without checking at the scores table. Golden will now check in for Lester. Evans is the inbounder. She's looking. Bounce past it to Golden. She couldn't handle it. But it was tipped by Leah Carlock of Savannah State who remained Benedict's ball with 15.3 seconds left in this first quarter. You know, it's actually interesting that Coach Rice hasn't had Christmas Taylor in the game, you know, that much. Shakira Duncan with the right hand move, no good. It was tipped. And it would be Savannah State's ball. Shakira Duncan tried to go with the underhand right layup, did not connect, went out of bounds. Maya Bird now with the ball. Eight seconds left, seven seconds left. Bird being trapped. Pass it out to Deshaya Jones. Jones puts up the shot. No good off the front of the rim. Rebound Shakira Duncan. And time runs out. Savannah State with a 12-point lead. 35-45 Savannah State leads. Yeah, real quick, I just want to say that Christmas not being in the game is actually kind of a surprise, but however it kind of makes sense, I think Coach Rice wants to go with a little bit more of a guard-oriented offense to try to take defenders off the dribble and get some bats and draw fouls. As we, have, as, as we have both teams break for a halftime correction, we have both teams correct for a halftime with the Savannah State 12-point lead, 35-47. You guys are watching the Black College Sports. You guys are watching the Black College Sports Network. We'll be right back at the start of the third quarter. Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate what it is that you, got, you guys do for us. quality cigars plus 
personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. Alongside me is Jamal Rosary, where we give you a very fierce matchup between two Tigers as they battle it out here at Tiger Arena. Savannah State and Benedict have played last in last week's victory in Savannah State, taking a win 73-71 to extend Savannah State's winning streak to two games. Although Savannah State had although Savannah State held a 10-point lead in the remaining first half and the second half, Benedict fought back and took the lead. Talking to head coach in the pregame, Coach Jamal Rowland, what was something that Coach said from the Benedict Tigers that's, that is going to take them to win this game? Yeah, so talking to Coach Rice, he told me <laughs> that, them, that Savannah State ran about two points. He did them a favor, actually, by getting that technical foul. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, that's really what I mostly talked to him about. Like, hey, you know, you guys fought hard into the game, and, um, you know, what do you like to carry over? And he said, hey, you know, they just have to play hard, play defense, and they're just trying to get better for the tournament. Benedict is on a five-game losing streak, looking to end this losing streak right here at Tiger Arena, having that they are a one-and-away record. They're looking to get back on the winning side and improve their work until four wins, while Savannah State is looking to continue their winning streak to 10 games and improve their win streak to 14 games overall and have a three-game winning streak. We'll be right back as both teams come out of the anthem. We'll be right back at the start of tip -off.
Welcome everyone back to the Tiger Arena. We are moments away from tip-off. Referee Aaliyah Johnson will start things off. The five on the floor for the Savannah State Tigers will be number five, Jashiah Jones, number 15, Nyla Allen, number 23, Amari Hurd, number two, Maya Bird, and number 12, Imani Hamilton. For the Benedict College Tigers, we have number two, Alasia Nash, number 10, uh, Maya Ashby, number 15, Aaliyah Lawrence, number 21, Kaya Evans, and number 50, Taylor Christmas. What do you expect to see from this matchup so far in this in this very in the in the battle of the Tigers, Jamal? Oh, say that one more time. So what are you looking for in the battle of the Tigers in this matchup? As things as a referee Leah Nash Johnson ticks tip things off. I'm looking to see, you know, defense. I want to see Savannah State, if they build a lead, how well they can keep the lead. And I want to see the defense of Benedict because when they amped up the pressure defensively at the end of last game against Savannah State on Wednesday, uh, they got back into the game. As soon as you say that, but jump shot no good from Bonnie Hamilton. But also, too, at the same time, though, Taylor Christmas was in foul trouble. That's one thing that Coach Rice had told me, and that's – one of the reasons why she only played four minutes in the first half of the last game and why they were in a deficit going into halftime. Aaliyah Lawrence, a big contributor in last week's defeat. They kick it to Evans. She's looking. Jasta kicks it out to Lawrence. Lawrence from the top of the key from a three-pointer. She connects. I just said before she was a major contributor in, their, in last week's game against Savannah State. As you can see, Benedict back in the full court pressure, something that caused Savannah State trouble. Allen looking, 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Receives a screen from her, splits the double team, looking, passes out to Jones. Jones gets inside, dribbles it back out, passes it back out to Allen. Allen loses her dribble, and it will go over to the Benedict College Tigers. That was actually a great drive by Nyla. She just happened to lose the ball, and she actually really had a wide open layup that time. Uh, last in the game, I know there was a, there was a lot of drives where she would drive and be in too deep and pick up her dribble too deep in the paint. Evan kicks it down to Taylor Christmas, the leading scorer for the Benedict Tigers. If you want to beat them, you're going to have to take away Christmas. And get it inside. Kick it out. Kaya Evans from the right-hand corner for three. She connects. Benedict jumps out to a 6-0 lead. And they need that. Benedict is going to have to make jump shots to beat the Savannah State Tigers. No one picks up Allen. She passes out to Jones. Jones tries to respond with a three-pointer of her own. She connects. Count the basket and a foul. And that's a great shot by Jashaya. She actually came through for Savannah State and made some clutch threes for them. Last game, too, as well. And she's a willing and capable shooter, too. That foul was on number two, Alasia Nash. She will be subbed out for number five, Anaya Scales. Head coach James Rice is giving Nash an earful about the call. Yeah, it's definitely something you don't want to do. You definitely do not want to foul a jump shooter. And a three point and one. First, the score is six to zero. She makes the three. Now you got the free throw opportunity. Now the score is 6 4, just like that. Savannah State in a press defense. Evans being guarded by Allen. Crimson at the top of the free throw line. Kicks it inside. Three for scale. She's no good. They tip. They fight for rebound to Shia Jones of Savannah State. Allen pushing the pace. Something that she does very well. Allen goes baseline, looking, passes back out to her. Her looking, kicks it to the corner. Jones, pump fakes. Mid-range jump shot, no good. Looking for a foul. There was no one. Rebound, Kaya Evans, who pushes the pace. I kind of think that she, well, she was about to get fouled, and then it didn't happen. And and she ended up, oh, I'm sorry, but she ended up altering her shot midair. As Taylor Christmas knocks down the layup. Outlet pass to her, something that Savannah State loves to do. Her. Mid-range jump shot, no good. Rebound, Aaliyah Lawrence. You know, Benedict actually did a pretty good job stopping the ball on that outlet pass because Savannah State, they like to have one or two people leak out after a shot. But if you're anybody playing against Savannah State, you got to have one or two people go back and second the shot goes up too as well. 
as Christmas pulls a deep three. No good. Rebound Lawrence, but she loses it right into the hands of Mario. Her, her outlet pass to Hamilton. Too much on it. It was earning a turnover. Possession goes over to Benedict. Just like that, right? That's, that's a prime example of someone linking out after a shot attempt. As we'll have Madison Golden check in for the Benedict College Tigers. Sitting down will be Aaliyah Lawrence. And Deshaya Holmes was subbing for Savannah State. Holmes and Golden were very in, in, impactful players for both units. As you guys do not know, Holmes made two great defensive stops to help Savannah State win the game. Mm -hmm. Golden, a very contributor on the, with the ball handling. She loves to get the offense set up, and she loves to push the pace, and she plays magnificent defense. Christmas gets inside with the school layup. Wow. Great drive, too. And that's the impression, too, that Taylor Christmas needs to have this game and see if she can draw some fouls. And she was almost fouled, too, on that possession there. Burr pulls up for three. She's short. Rebound Christmas. And they were shading her heavy to her left hand there. But she's definitely looking for the shot there. For she is a very good three-point shooter. Madison Golden gets inside, kicks it out. Amari Ashby for three. She's no good. Rebound Golden. She loses it. Regains the rebound looking to get it inside. No good by Ashby. And see, they got two offensive rebounds, I believe, in that possession. And that's something I was looking for Benedict to do to see if they can pound the glass against Savannah State because they do have the size advantage against them. After the missed shot by Allen, rebound Taylor Christmas, who passes it up to Scales. Scales looks like she carried right there. Picks up her dribble. No one's coming to the ball, but they get it to Christmas. It was tipped. And we'll have a timeout by head coach James Rice for the Benedict College Tigers. Both teams will go, both teams will go into timeout, and so will we with the Benedict College Tigers with a six-point lead, 10 to 4 with five minutes and 37 seconds left. You are watching Savannah State Athletics on the Black College Sports Network. This is Brian Fulford. A.D. Drew and I are co-hosts of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. What up, y'all? It's Gary Gray. Check it out. I need you to do something for me. Join me April 26th through the 28th at the Cortland Grand Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia for Urban Nerd Con. It's going to be lit. Okay. Our heroes, our villains, everyone's con. See y'all there. Visit theurbannerdcon.net to get your buy one, get one free badges before the price increases. Remember, our heroes, our villains, our stories, everyone's con. See you. Welcome everyone back to the Tiger Arena with the Benedict College Tigers with a six point lead. I'm your host Travis Petty, alongside me is Jamal Rowland, Benedict College Tigers with a six point lead, calling the timeout, with, coming out the timeout with 18 seconds left on the shot clock. You have a tip, but right into the hands of Amari Ashby, who's being guarded by Maya Burr. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Ashby looking, no one seems to be there. Then we have a steal by Bird. Bird gets the handle of it. Outlet pass to her. Two on two break. Her pulls up jump shot. No good off the front of the rim. Rebound Taylor Christmas. The reason why she was able to get that steal is because Josiah Jones actually did a great job guarding the back cut up against Kaya Evans. Madison Golden being guarded by Amaria Hurd. Both players were very competitive in their last matchup, jawing against each other as Christmas gets inside again Ooh. on Holmes. Two shots coming up for Christmas. Yeah, Holmes got to do a better job enforcing Taylor Christmas going towards the help. The help isn't towards the left where Taylor Christmas had drove twice. You got to force it towards the help with her right side because they're running. They have another defender on the other elbow opposite of Taylor Christmas. Mishaya Jackson was subbing for Benedict. Sitting down will be Amari Ashby. First free throw is no good for Christmas as she's the leading scorer for Benedict with 11 points on the season. First free throw is no good. She's an 84% free throw shooter. Second attempt coming up. Christmas goes one or two from the free throw line. As you can see, Benedict in that press defense, something that gave Savannah State trouble. 
last week in their game against Bennett. They, they leave Allen open for three, who pulls up, and she rattles it in. Great shot. It's a great shot by Nyla Allen. You can't leave her open. We're going to have a double dribble on Kaya Evans. Turnover for Benedict. And the ball will turn over to Savannah State. And Nyla Allen calling out signals. Lies it up to Holmes. Holmes looking. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Allen receives a screen from home. Chess passes to Jones. Evans like she wanted to jump the passing lane. Allen, seven seconds left on the shot clock. Allen goes inside, kicks it to the ISO. corner. Her with the jump shot, no good. A rebound Holmes. It'll be a shot clock mm. violation. They couldn't get anything set up on the offensive end. Something that, that you pride that, yourself on. That was, that was actually a really good pass by Nyla. Mm. She had drove, drew, drew a defender and passed it to Hurd. Hurd just couldn't draw iron on her shot. Mari Hurd, the sixth ranked scorer in the SIAC conference, kicks it to Deja Jackson. Receives a screen from Christmas. Deja pulls up inside the free throw line, jump shot. No Ooh. good. Rims out. Rebound, Maya Bird. That's actually one of the most frustrating misses ever <laughs> to rim out like that. Bird, spin move, looking, jump shot. No good. Rebound, Christmas again. We got it. Savannah State has to get something easy for Maya Bird. Like a lot of the shots she's been shooting have been tough, contested shots. We've got to get something easy for her to get it going. Christmas again goes in strong. Tip, rebound to Shia Jones. Taylor Christmas being a lot more aggressive in this game compared to their home game against Savannah State. As she picked things up in the second half, first half, looked like Coach James Rice has gotten into her ear telling her to pick things up in the first half. Her bounce pass it to Holmes. Holmes throws up a jump hook, and she connects. Mm. Great ball movement from Savannah State, which, which results in an easy deuce. Alasia Nash, she's a screen for Christmas. Nash going up strong, fouled by Deshaya Holmes. Two shots coming up for Nash. Nash was the leading scorer in last week's game with 17 points. Let's see if she can keep that same streak going. Aaliyah Lawrence was sub in for Benedict. That, Sitting down will be Taylor Christmas. I was about to say, that's Holmes' second foul. I know that Coach Baker, you know, likes to have Holmes in the game to match up with Taylor Christmas because she has the length to match up with Christmas. But that's her second foul there. She needs to do better at using her length and being in front and just giving a nice heart to test. A missed shot is considered a block shot in basketball. And what you saying that Holmes with two fouls, Imani Hamilton will sub in for her as a laser Nash makes the first free throw. Nash goes two or two from the free throw line to extend his Benedict lead to four points. Her left with a lot of space at the three-point line, but they kick it to Bird. She pulls up for three. No good off the back of the rim. Rebound, Madison Golden. And that's an easy shot that Maya had. She just wasn't able to knock it down. But that was the one of the easy shots I was talking about, though, that she needed. Yes, we have Madison Golden loses it right into the hands of Maya Bird. Bird looking, doesn't have the numbers. Euro step inside. She had to go to the free throw line, shooting two. And she didn't get the layup because she got fouled, but layup attempt definitely even easier than the three. And free throws, two, two free throws coming up easier than the three, definitely. So let's see if the, after these two free throws that she can get it going. Bird shooting her first two free throws of the night. First free throw rims in. She was the second leading scorer for Savannah State in last week's game with 16 points. First free throw connects. Bird goes two or two from the free throw line. Anaya Scales will now sub it for, for Alasia Nash. Two minutes and 31 seconds left in this first quarter. Deja Jackson being guarded in the backcourt. Rubs off a steal by Nyla Allen will call a foul. Oh, wow. Aaliyah Johnson, a referee, made the call. I'm actually surprised by that, too. That definitely would have been a clean steal if she had got that. Kaya Evans taking the ball up the court, hands it off to Deja Jackson. Jackson lobs it up to Scales. 19 seconds left on the shot clock. Scales 
Gives it into Lawrence. Lawrence, deep position in the paint, loses it right into the hands of Imani Hamilton. Hamilton looking, looking. In transition, goes up strong, no good off the front of the rim, and she was fouled. Two shots for Imani Hamilton. The foul was on number five, Anaya Scales. Just give her a couple more inches of bounce. That would have been a poster. <laughs> she was ducking that one. Shooting to Imani Hamilton. Connects on the first free throw. Second attempt coming up to give Savannah State a tie ball game with two minutes and five seconds left in the first quarter. And Benedict's handoff action, Savannah State's doing a great job in guarding that, cutting off the drive, and even denying the handoff. What Benedict needs to do to counter that, instead of picking up the dribble, expecting the handoff, keep the dribble alive, and wait a split second for the teammate to come get the handoff. Evans, outlet pass to Jackson. Jackson pulls up a three in transition, and it bounces in. Three point was good by Deja Jackson, the junior out of Columbia, South Carolina. I'm not going to lie, watching this game, it doesn't feel like Benedict has the lead. It, re it really doesn't. <laughs> it, you know, it just feels like the Savannah State's, they're not playing bad basketball. Burt receives the pass from her, goes baseline. Stolen by Deja Jackson. Jackson being harassed by Nyla Allen. Jackson picks up her dribble, hands it off to Evans, who receives a screen from Jackson. Evans looking, looking, kicks it off to Lawrence, and it's good. Just like you said on the handoff, she passes it into Aaliyah Lawrence for the easy deuce. Savannah, not Savannah State, excuse me. Ben is actually playing really good basketball. They're making shots, making the right cuts and the right reads at the right time. So far, Benedict has made the adjustments from last week's game to give them a lead. They lead the Shia Jones open for three. No good. A rebound, Deja Jackson. Anaya Scales now with the ball looking. Passes back out to Jackson. Jackson will pull up from the same spot. She connects again, two for two, from the same spot as Jackson. Wow. And they're, they are making shots. They're making their shots right now. And Savannah State, yeah, yes, you want to pay attention to the scouting report and follow the scouting report, but you also have to be making, willing to make in-game adjustments. Allen gets inside, floater alert, and she mm. connects. Count the basket and the foul. You say floater alert? Floater alert. <laughs> <laughs> But on that position there, Nyla, when she drove by, she didn't let her defender bump her off her line. Instead, she went from east to west into her defender, thus forcing the contact, making it difficult for a defender to block that shot and got it up and in and plus the foul. Allen looking to connect on a three-point play opportunity, and it rims in and she connects. The lead is now 15-21, Benedict, 25 seconds left in the first quarter. Asia Jackson receives a screen from Madison Golden. Jackson gets inside, rejected by Hamilton. They call the foul. Yeah, yeah. They, that because of Jackson leading in, it, the contact was created because of Jackson leaning into Amani. So, yes, I could see that being called. Excuse me, Duncan. Duncan got fouled, not Jackson. I heard you say the name, but Duncan got fouled. It was really her momentum into the shot, into Amani. But Amani really was straight up and down. Jackson, first free throw coming up. She oh, I was, connects. I was right the first time. Jackson did get for out. But it was really her momentum, though. Second attempt coming up for Jackson with no shot clock left. Jackson, two for two from the free throw line. That's eight points for Jackson. Allen sprints the ball up the court. No shot clock. 13 seconds left remaining. Allen looking. Kicks it out to Jones. Jones pump fakes. Pass it to her in the mid-range area. Her pit range jump shot. No good. Rebound. Oh, right to the hands of Jones. Jones puts up a shot before the buzzer. She's good right before the buzzer. Jashia Jones. And Madison Golden is furious with Aaliyah Lawrence with not grabbing the rebound which results in a buzzer beater for Jashia Jones of Savannah State. The Benedict College Tigers have jumped out to a six-point lead in this first quarter, 23-17. Benedict leads. I'm your host, Travis Petty, alongside me. Since 2000. You are watching the Savannah State Athletics on the Black College Sports Network. We will be right back at, at the start of the, at the second quarter.
too, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center, an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dyna- Welcome everyone back to Tiger Arena. Alongside me is Jamal Roland. I'm your host, Travis Petty. The Benedict College Tigers have jumped out to a six-point lead in the first quarter, 17-23 Benedict leads. Daisy Jackson will inbound the ball to Madison Golden. Jackson had a very successful first quarter, finishing the quarter with eight points, two three-pointers, and two f- and connecting on both of her free throws. Golden lobs it into Ashby, who goes up strong. No good rebound. Daisy Jackson, she goes up. No good. Tipped out by Maya Bird to Amari Hurd. Yeah, in that first quarter, Benedict was just, they came out with more energy than Savannah State did. Savannah State had some momentum going, but Benedict came out ready to play and prepare it. 16 seconds left on the shot clock for Nyla Allen. Allen lobs up to Jones. Jones shoots another three. No good and foul by Taylor Christmas. That's her second time drawing a foul. And but, oh, I was about to say, the, the thing is with Josiah, she kind of leans forward a little bit oh, on her jump shot. So you have to be mindful of that and kind of jump to the side of her to avoid a foul. That's the second, uh, t- that's the second time Benedict has fouled a three-point jump shooter. Both times it was Josiah Jones. Joan connects from the first free throw attempt. Shai Jones was 29% from three, 64% from the free throw line. So you had a 29% shot go to 69%. Yeah. I mean 64%, I'm sorry. Benedict, the 12th ranked defense in the SIAC conference. Third attempt coming up for Jones. Three for three is Jashia Jones. She went 100%. She went 100% there. that. So a 20% three point led to a 100% three point. I'm sorry, three field free throws. You're all right, Charlie. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time, Pastor. This is a, a reaching foul on Nyla Allen. Golden drew the foul. She was handling the ball. She, the primary ball handler for Benedict. They have a steal by Mari Hur right into the hands of Nyla Allen. Two on two break. Allen looking. Floater by Allen. No good. Rebound. Kaya Evans. She fights for. She fights for. Lobs it out to Taylor Christmas. And Christmas will hold. Takes the ball up the court with 24 seconds left. Being guarded by Imani Hamilton. Hands it off. They leave a Kaya Evans for three in the left hand corner. She connects. And Benedict came out guns blazing. Knocking down three point shots. Her. And just over the weeks, like watching them Saturday, watching them Monday, watching them Wednesday, and today, they have just got they have gotten better over time. It's Taylor Christmas fouls I'm already heard on the putback. It'll be the team's second foul. Amari heard the free throw on. This looks like the game from last week just flipped. Benedict jumped out to a lead over Savannah State. First free throw is good from Hurd. Aaliyah Lawrence at the score table for Benedict. You know, the thing is, though, Benedict has done a good job of keeping Savannah State from the three-point line because the three-point story is normally Savannah State. Normally, they're the ones making threes. But they haven't made – actually, they made one three so far. And then they got fouls on two threes from Jashia. Jones and she converted on all three free throws both times. And that's one of the things that you said head coach James Rice said we can't beat ourselves. Mm-hmm. Maya Bird wanted to travel on Daisy Jackson. Golden lobs it up to Amari Ashby. She lost the handle of it and it'll be a turnover for Benedict. Savannah State's possession. And that was actually a really good look. That was a great pass through it. 
right over the top of your defender. And that's why it's really good to have Golden as the primary ball handler because she's taller than that of the guards of Savannah State and just throw over the top. And But, hey, Evans just couldn't get a hold of the pass. Bracha Lester will now sub in for Benedict, sitting down and be Amari Ashby. They swing it along the perimeter with 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Allen looking, passes out, out to Jones. Maya Hurd now deep positioned in the post, being guarded by Leah Lawrence. She loses it, takes it back out to Burr. Burr for three. No good. And she Rebound Madison Gold. Badly. She wanted that shot badly. Yeah. She came off the double screen, the floppy action, clapping for it. Golden receives the screen from Deja Jackson. Steal by Mario Hurd. Hurd in transition. Being guarded by Lester. Hurd goes up strong and she connects off the backboard. Savannah State with a little trap defense of their own in the backcourt. Aaliyah Lawrence just, take, just takes it up the court. Lobs it up to Lester in the paint being guarded by Allen. Kaya Evans was calling for in the right corner. No one saw her. Golden being guarded by Imani Hamilton. Golden looking, loses it right into the hands of Lester. Lester, she loses it, stolen by Maya Bird, but the ball will go out of bounds. And the ball will remain Benedict. That's, that's another thing, too, about Savannah State. They're really good at getting their hand in the dribble pocket, what's the name, or just getting their hands in there in general, poking the ball loose and getting out of transition. As we have a discussion between referee Walter Quiller and Leon Cohen about the clock issue. Yeah, I think mean, they're trying to decide what the shot clock should be, but it didn't reset. They didn't get a shot up. They didn't get a It should be four seconds left on the shot clock. And that's something that Coach Baker is telling Walter Quiller. It should be four seconds left on the be shot clock. Yeah, and they, because they thought Savannah State had got possession uh -huh. of it, so that's why it had changed. And then when they pressed reset, it went to 20. But the thing is, Savannah State never got possession, though. Kaya Evans with a deep three. Banks it in. That is insane. Talk about being clutch when your team needs it, when your team needs it the most. Evans was calling for it in the right-hand corner. Savannah State left her open. This time, she connects with a deep three. Very deep. That's near the volleyball yeah. line. I don't think anybody in their right mind would play that. Anybody would say, hey, you can have that shot. Backdoor cut by her. She goes up and she stepped out of bounds. If you can see the way Benedict is guarding Maya Burt, they're forcing everything to her right. They're shading her to the left hand side. They're going to make her go right. You just look at the bench of Benedict. You look at the bench of Savannah State. Savannah State, even though they're at home, they just look just dead. Benedict, they're excited and cheer on their Imani team. Imani Hamilton in transition with the easy deuce from the after the assist from Maya Bird. And if you look at Savannah State bench, nobody's excited. They're celebrating the steal and the two points they just got. Amaya Hurt pleading to referee Leon Cohen. Savannah State trapping. Bird traps Lawrence. Lawrence bounced it out to Jackson. Jackson came. She responded with three of her own. No good. Rebound. Aaliyah Lawrence, but it will be a foul. On the floor. The foul on going. Briasia Lester of Benedict. Possession will go over to Savannah State. Savannah State looking to tie this ball game, but they haven't led for the entirety of this game as we are only in the second quarter. And Legion Shai Jones open from the top of the three. She pulls up a three of her own. She connects the game now tied. Wide, wide open. And no one contested. They all looked at each other at, when, as she's taking the shot. <laughs> the lack of communication from the defensive end for Benedict has really cost them. Fouling three-point shooters and leaving Jashiah Jones open from the three-point line, something you can't not do. And you look at that, the score is tied now. Golden almost traveled. Referees don't call anything. Lawrence being guarded by Jashiah Jones, loses the handle, regains it. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Lawrence goes baseline, will have a reach-in foul on Amari Hurd. Ooh, you can't do that if you're hurt. You had eight seconds left on the shot clock. Lawrence was out of control. She went baseline. It will go over to Benedict. The ball will remain Benedict. Even though Savannah State comes up with a lot of steals, though, they 
tend to bail out offensive teams on offense by reaching. Of a jump ball, which go to which will go over to Savannah State's basketball. Her tied up Aaliyah Lawrence. Allen passes it to her. Allen pump fakes. No look pass to Hamilton. Hamilton, mid-range jump shot. No good off the back of the rim. Rebound to Leah Lawrence. Gordon passes back out to Lawrence. Lawrence gets it inside. They go up strong. Deja Jackson, no good. They fight for it right into the hands of Maya Bird after the missed shot from Jackson. Allen pushes it, kicks it to Jones. Jones goes baseline. Crossover move. Floater. No good. Two shots coming up for Jones. The aggressiveness from Jones has really been the turning point for Savannah State. And she's been able to hit threes. And Benedict, I mean, you have to blame it on them. She's been fouled two times from the three-point line. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, though, like, they're trying to run out to her. She's pump faking and going by for the drive and either pulling up or going all the way like she did for the floater and drawing the foul. Both teams take a timeout break. So will we. We'll be right back when Deshaya Jones shoots her two free throws. I'm your host, Travis Petty. Alongside me is Jamal Rowland. You're watching the Savannah State Athletics on the Black College Sports Network. Courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids' apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, we... Welcome everyone back to the Black College Sports Network. We have two shots coming up for Josiah Jones. You are watching Savannah State Athletics on the Black College Sports Network. Two free throw attempts coming up for Josiah Jones. Shia Jones so far in 100% from the free throw line, six of six. <laughs> you see, she can add to it. Jones connects from the free throw. So far, she's perfect. You know what? Maybe I should have mentioned that after the free throws because yeah. he announced the jinx Jin thing. I don't want <laughs> nobody coming back to me. He's like, you jinxed me. No, I didn't. Savannah State <laughs> takes the first lead of the game after the free throw was good from Jones. Hey. 100% from the free throw line. Eight of eight so far. Jaquise Austin will now sub for Savannah State. Sitting down will be Josiah Jones. Savannah State with the press defense of their own. The backcourt, Nia Scales just gets it all. Kicks it into Deja Jackson, who no one picks up, but she misses a layup. Rebound, Breeja Laser, but she loses it right into the hands of Maya Bird. Bird saves it right into the hands of Austin. It's all smiling games for Maya Burden, like she's just having fun out here. We're just sticking left on the shot clock. Allen goes baseline, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound to Leah Lawrence. Kaya Evans, like she wanted to shoot the three, doesn't take it. Gets it inside to Raja Lester. Lester, what an up nice. and under move. Fake. She was no good. The foul was on Imani Hamilton. Two shots coming up for Lester, and hopefully she's okay as she gets up grimacing. Did she bump knees? I think she bumped knees with, with probably Imani in the air. But that was a great up, up and, and under, under move. move. Yeah. -wee. You don't really see that too more. You don't really see that too many times anymore. Man, I remember when I first learned the up and under move. 
First attempt is good from Lester. I remember when I first learned the up under move. Boy, I was hitting that left and right. <laughs> Everybody was jumping for it. I'm like, oh my gosh. Josiah Holmes and Josiah Jones at the score table for Savannah State. Lester, two for two from the free throw line. She is. Jones and Holmes will sub in for Savannah State. Jaquees Austin will now check out, and so will Imani Hamilton. With the game now tied in the second quarter, 31-31. Benedict back in the press, deep something against Savannah State. Trouble in last week's game. No one picks up Nyla Allen. She sprints up the court, brings it back out and will set up the offense. You can hear Coach Breaker calling out the signals. Jones bounce pass it to her. Her giving a lot of space from the Benedict defensive players. Maya Bird jab steps, gets it inside, throws up a shot, the backboard, mm. crazy shot, but it goes in. At that time, she went to her right hand. Instead of trying to force her way left, she went to her right hand and took what the defense gave her. But that was a great shot off the backboard, fading two out of bounds. Nice skills, cross court pass to Deja Jackson. Jackson puts up a shot of her own, no good. Rebound to Shia Holmes. Holmes loses it, regains it. She's being trapped in the backcourt, but just gets it off to Bird, and Bird will cross court pass to Nyla Allen. Allen hands it off to Josiah Jones. Bird will screen a screen from home. Bird goes up with the left hand, right and left there hand. She is. connects Maya Bird. Count the basket and the foul. Three point play opportunity coming up for Bird. And as she sees these next few baskets go in, hopefully I can get it going for her. She had two free throws earlier, a layup, the possession before just now and another layup here in the three-point opportunity. So there's some psychological momentum going on there for her. So hopefully that'll help her knock down some shots. And you can see the improvement Bird made after their win against Benedict as she's looked like she's, in, she's improved on her right hands in last week's game. Benedict forced her to her left-hand side. Three-point play opportunity coming up for Bird. Bird, no good. Rebound Kaya Evans. Only a four-point lead, Savannah State holds their largest lead of the game so far. Golden, crossover move, hot step move, and it will call a travel. Golden cannot believe it, neither can head coach James Rice. I honestly, I'll have to look at the replay again, but even if it wasn't a travel, it looks funny, it yeah. looks weird. So people are quick to say, hey, travel, the second something looks weird. It takes points off for Benedict. Savannah State with a four-point lead. Burke takes the screen from home and passes it to her. They swing it along the, the perimeter. Shia Jones kicks it out to Burke in the corner. And Burke was stepped out of bounds. Turnover, Savannah State. Anaya Scales bringing the ball to the court. Guarded by Nyla Allen. Allen, like she wanted to go for the steal. Scales picks up a dribble, pass it out to Kaya Evans. Aaliyah Lawrence, pump fake, goes inside, and a foul again on Josiah Holmes, her third personal foul. The thing about Holmes is that she's not really doing too well moving her feet. That's the third time she got beat to the basket and foul, committed a foul. That's her third foul, like you said. Free throw attempts coming up for Aaliyah Lawrence. We have a substitution for Benedict, number three. Kyla Daniels sitting down will be Deja Jackson. However, though, even if Holmes can't necessarily stay in front of who she's guarding, right, she can just use her hands and make a, a hard contest, a, a tough contest, because she is tall and long, and she needs to use her length to her advantage. First free throw is good from Lawrence, and Savannah State has the substitution. Josiah Holmes will sit down. Or at least back up to give herself some room to react. Anaya Donaldson has subbed in for Savannah State. Allen calling out the shot, being guarded by Daniels. They leave Jones again open for three. She throws That's up and she's foul. fouled yep. again from the three-point line. She was in her in her airspace. 
That foul was on number five, Anaya Scales. Ashaya Jones shooting three free throws again for the third time in this game. Scales, her foot was right underneath Jones. And like I said before, Ashaya Jones tends to lean forward on her jump shot. And you got to be mindful of that. Three attempts coming up for Jones, who so far has been perfect from the free throw line. And she keeps the hot streak going. Three. Getting fouled three times on three-point attempts by the same person <laughs> is crazy. Like, if I'm if I'm Josiah Jones and I got fouled three times on three three-point attempts, you gave me nine free points. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, you make me look good. And this other than head coach James Rice, I don't want to repeat myself or sound like a broken record. James Rice, the head coach for, for the Benedict College Tigers, that's something that he preached in the pregame. You can't beat yourself. And so far, Benedict, who held the lead in the first quarter, Savannah State walked him down and has took their largest lead of the game. You have to blame Benedict for that. They continue to foul three-point shooters. Jones, a perfect from the free throw line. She goes. Actually, she's a 11 of 11 now because she had two free throws. Yeah. Yep. I was thinking 9-9, nine nine, but hey, she's 11-11 from free throw line. Nice skills. Crossover move. Lobs it up to Lawrence. Lawrence with a great catch. She goes over with her left hand and was fouled. Anaya Donaldson, who, who the foul will be called, the number 14 of Savannah State. Two shots coming up for Lawrence. Lawrence, a 56 free throw shooter on the season, connects with the first free throw. Two for two goes Lawrence. Donaldson will get it into Nyla Allen. Allen being guarded full court by Kyla Daniels. Amari, I'm so, check that. Maya Bird double crossover gets it into Donaldson. Donaldson goes with her left hand and it's good. Great move. Great move. And she missed time. She missed time Lawrence by putting the ball up in the air on the first step, making Lawrence jump on the first step, and then took the second step and went up with her left hand. We are just under a minute in this second quarter. Savannah State with a six-point lead. Madison Golden being guarded by Amari Hurt. Cross-court pass to Scales. Scales pulls up a high arc or no good. A rebound to Shia Jones. 32 seconds left in the second quarter. Jones being guarded by Kaya Evans. Jones goes in strong. No good. A rebound to Leah Lawrence who will push the tempo, just gets it up half court, kicks it into Kyla Daniels. Daniels chest pass to Kaya Evans. Kevin's with the jump shot, no good. A rebound, Nyla Allen. Looked like a receiver There's no reason on that to rush. rebound. No There's reason no to rush. There's no shot clock. Allen will go in strong. She connects. Five seconds left in this game. Scales bring the ball up the court. Two seconds left. Lobs it up to Evans. Evans, can she get a shot before the buzzer? No, she cannot. And before we go into halftime, Benedict, they need to look at what they did in the second half against Savannah State to get back into the game and try to copy and paste that into today's game. They really haven't done that. What they did was trap and funnel Nyla Allen into deep inside the paint, make her pick up a dribble and make it difficult for her. They shaded Maya Bird to her right and they closed out on all shots. And But here, they're fouling three-point shooters. They're not doing really what they did in the second half of last game against Savannah State. After being outplayed in the first quarter, the Savannah State Tigers come out in the second quarter and take their largest lead of the game. Both teams will go into halftime. Savannah State with the eight-point lead. I'm your host, Travis Petty. Alongside me is Jamal Rowland Jr. Both teams go into halftime, and we'll be right back at the start of the third quarter. You guys are watching Savannah State Athletic on the Black College Sports Network. We love what you guys do, Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN. We really appreciate what it is that you guys, you guys do for us. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. 
Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. You see Head and Shoulders has a scalp shield technology. Make things simple and trust the experts at Allstate. They will help you get the coverage that fits your needs while helping you bundle your life, home, and auto policies. Bundling saves you money, sure, but it also saves you time so you can enjoy the things that matter most even more. Contact me, Tammy Haynes, your local agent, for a free personalized insurance quote. Allstate, are you in good hands? Charmin Ultra Soft has so much cushiony softness, it's hard for your family to remember. They can use less. Sweet pillows of softness. This is soft. Holy Charmin. Oh, excuse me. Roll it back, everybody. Sorry. Charmin Ultra Soft is so cushiony soft, you'll want more. But it's so absorbent, you can use less. So it's always worth it. Now, what did we learn about using less? You gotta roll. Everybody, <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, we 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 love what you guys do, Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN. We really appreciate what it is that you got you guys do for us. Co-host of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. What up, y'all? It's Gary Gray. Check it out. I need you to do something for me. Join me April 26th through the 28th at the Courtland Grand Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia for Urban Nerd Con. It's going to be lit. Okay. Our heroes, our villains, everyone's con. See y'all there. Visit theurbannerdcon.net to get your buy one, get one free badges before the price increases. Remember, our heroes, our villains, our stories, everyone's con. See you. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. It's like a loot machine. 
It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids' apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate it. Welcome, everyone, back to the Black College Sports Network. I'm your host, Travis Petty. Alongside by me is Jamal Rowland, where we give you a Savannah State Tigers 12-point lead over the Benedict College Tigers, 47-35. But as of right now, Jamal Rowland will give you his halftime assessments and the stats for, for both teams. Yeah, looking at this, Savannah State, you know, they've made more shots and they also made more threes. With Maya Bird leading away with 14 points, three of five from the three-point line, and uh, Aaliyah Ash. Oh, excuse me, Alasia Ash leading away with 11 points as well. Uh, they're actually tied in points in the paint, but my assessment here is that um, I think Benedict, in order for them to win this game, is to continue with their guard-oriented lineup and try to continue some iso play and get, get take the defenders off the dribble and get to the basket. For Savannah State, keep moving the ball because they right now they have a 12 assist to Benedict's three. So keep moving the ball and keep getting open threes because that's where they're beating Benedict at, at the three-point line. And also just easy open jump shots with their driving kicks. We are only a minute away from the start of the third quarter. That was Jamal Rowland's halftime assessments and halftime stats. We will be right back as both teams start the third quarter. You guys, you guys do for us. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website www.slowburnwaco.com That's www.slowburnwaco.com you see, Head & Shoulders has scalp shield technology protects against flakes even between washes. It's never not working. Kind of like us. Number 15? Never not working. I don't like this one. Me neither. Let's get out of here. Head & Shoulders scalp shield. Never not working. When you're looking for the latest information on Southern University sports, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, and HBCU athletics, there's only one place to go. Tune in to the Carlos Brown Show, exclusively on the Black College Sports Network. At CDW, we get speed as the new currency of success. Our team spends way too much time tending to outdated applications and software when they should be focused on driving application agility and innovation. Welcome back, everyone, to the Black College Sports Network. We are at the start of the third quarter with the Savannah State Tigers lead 47-35. I'm your host, Travis Petty. Alongside, my, alongside me is Jamal Rowland, Jr. Savannah State will get the ball at the start of this third quarter. The five on the floor for Savannah State will be Maya Bird, Jashia Jones, Imani Hamilton, Nyla Allen, and Amari Hurt. For Benedict, you have Elasia Nash, Aaliyah Lawrence, Kaya Evans, Taylor Christmas, and Tai Treasure. Oh my gosh, what a move by Nyla, the snatch back. We have a missed layup right there by Jashia Jones. And Taylor Christmas is now back in the game. I honestly feel like Coach Rice kind of took her out because she was a liability defensively because Savannah State has a lot of guards and wings, and then they was probably taking her off the dribble and beating her to the basket. But let's see what she can contribute with her now back in the game. We have bodies on the floor. Referees make no call. Bodies still on the floor as Amari Hurd and 
Aaliyah Lawrence tie up for it. Madison Golden will now sub in for. And also to look at these stats, that every, a lot, everything looks identical. Turnovers are almost identical. Um, points in the paint almost identical. Rebounds almost identical. The main difference Stolen is Stolen right here by Imani Hamilton. I didn't mean to cut you off, Jamal. You good. Another jump ball, but and the, only, the only thing that's not identical is the three-point makes and attempts and the field goal makes and attempts. Like, hey, this is a make-or-miss league, so you got to make shots. Uh, the, in terms of field goal attempts, is roughly about the same, but Savannah State has just made more of those shots. Maya Burr bringing the ball, of course. She was a major contributor in the first half. Burr looking, what's, what a pass to Amari Hurt. And she connects on the deuce, 49-35 Savannah State leads. What a dish by Maya Bird to Amari Hurd. And that's the plus of having, you know, guards and wings in the game. Everybody can see and make passes. Christmas now with the ball. Passes back out to Golden. Golden passes back to Christmas. Christmas coming up for three. No good off the back of the rim. Rebound, Madison Golden. Pump fake goes up strong with the layup. She doesn't take a lot of threes, but she is a willing shooter. She will take those shots and occasionally make those. Nyla Allen pushes the pace up the floor. Gets up the court fast. Only with 20 seconds left. Maria Hurd loses the dribble. Hands it back out to Maya Bird. Bird didn't seem to connect. So when she gets the ball back. 30 seconds left on the shot clock. Hurd gives a screen to Bird. Bird gets inside. Goes with the left hand. Most. And she was fouled. It was a late call. She went on the left side of the rim. Fell to the ground. Two shots coming up for Bird. I would love to see Savannah State try to play. Uh, Taylor Christmas out the game by giving because Taylor Christmas is guarding uh, Monty Hamilton so I like to see them try to get her the ball and see what she could do against Taylor Christmas. Bird connects on the first free throw. A very good free throw shooter on the year. Second free throw attempt coming up. Savannah State with the 13 point lead. Bird connects on both free throws. 51-37 Savannah State now with the 14 point lead. Savannah State pressing in the backcourt. Nyla Allen harassing Elasia Nash. Aaliyah Lawrence now with the ball. She's looking. Guarded by Maya Burt. Passes back out to Madison Golden. Golden receives a screen from Taylor Christmas. Spin move by Golden. Kicks it back out. Christmas for three. No good off the back rim. It was rebounded by Maya Burt. Burt outlet pass to Imani Hamilton. Hamilton with the easy deuce. 53-37 Savannah State lead. And they got quite a few of those over the course of this game too. Uh, if you anybody playing Savannah State, you definitely got to keep an eye out for those that like to leak out after a shot. They're trying to get it inside of Taylor Christmas. She seems frustrated. She's being guarded by Imani Hamilton. Madison Golden being guarded by Maria Hurd. They were chipping in the first half. Three coming up for Madison Golden. No good off the front of the rim. Madison gets on rebound. What a pass to Taylor Christmas. Prior to that, I was just about to say that Savannah State is forcing Benedict to shoot jump shots. before. That's one reason why Savannah State pulled away is because when Benedict got out of getting the ball to the basket and making layups and getting free throws and fouls, Savannah State started making them shoot jump shots, and they haven't been able to knock any of those down. Burr passes it out to Jones. Jones pumping, goes baseline, passes it to Imani Hamilton, the 17-footer, rims out, rebound Leah Lawrence. Golden calling out the shots like she wanted to hit Kaya Evans on the outlet pass, but Deshaya Jones cut it off. Golden looking. Receives a screen from Taylor Christmas. She's double team. Splits the double team. Goes up strong and was fouled. Two shots coming up for Golden. Welcome, everyone, back to the start of the third quarter where Savannah State has an eight-point lead. The five on the floor for the Tigers will be Anila Allen, Jashia Jones, Maya Burry, Imani Hamilton, and Amari Hurt. For the Benedict College Tigers, we have Kaya Evans, Elasia Nash, Taylor Christmas, Kaya Evans, and Aaliyah Lawrence. I'm your host, Travis Petty. Alongside me is Jamal Rowland. We are live from Tiger Arena. Kaya Evans, pump fake, pulls up a shot, and it connects. Benedict has done an absolutely outstanding job of cutting and making the reads of the cuts, seeing the advantage that an all cutter may have on their defender, and whether it's a slight step or a full step, and they're making those passes over the top of Savannah State. Jones bounce passes it to her. Her kicks it out to Allen. Allen pump fake gets. Ashby in the air. Allen throws up an air ball. Jones saves it right to the hands of Imani Hamilton. She puts up a shot as well, and she connects. Now that Taylor Christmas is back in the game, let's see if Benedict would do a better job on the glass because Savannah State, they kind of been running the glass a little bit since Taylor Christmas has been out the game. Christmas wide open after the steal attempt by Imani Hamilton. Rebound to Lazer Nash. She throws up a shot of her 
Rebound, Mari Ashby. She connects, held the basket and the foul. Amaya Ashby looking to continue with the three-point play opportunity. That foul will be on number two, Maya Bird of Savannah State. Correction, the foul will be on number 15, Nyla Allen, her third personal foul. See what the rest are trying to do. You know, the referees, they know this is broadcast. You know, sometimes they want some TV time themselves, yeah. you know. <laughs> Ashby misses the shot. Rebound. Ashby of herself. Lawrence gets now with the ball. In the corner. 25 seconds left on the shot clock. Lawrence. Gobs it in. Taylor Christmas. Reach good backside defense from Jashia Jones. Rebound. Jones. It was great backside defense by her. I got that from Savelle yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Burr lies it up to Allen. Allen takes the screen. Jones, pump fake. Great pass to Imani Hamilton, the 17 footer. No good. Rebound, Hurd. Three point play counts. Amari Hurd will be sent to the free throw line. You know, air balls are the hardest rebounds to get, and Amari Hurd was in the right spot. Just happened to be in the right spot at the right time to grab that and then go up. Heard, who had a very quiet night in the first half. Let's see if she can pick things up in the second half. Her connects from the, with the three-point play opportunity. Almost a steal by Hurd in the backcourt. Ashby pass to Lawrence. They just get across half court with 24 seconds left. Nyla Allen giving Lawrence no airspace to breathe. Lawrence gets past Nyla Allen and connects. She was fouled by Imani Hamilton. Lawrence looking to connect with the, with the three-point play opportunity. And that was a great drive right there, taking her time up against Nyla, because Nyla, she is really good at picking her pockets and being handsy. She took her time, went towards the middle, spun back towards the baseline, drove right by into the defense, and went up strong against Imani. Imani, and the spot was stolen, but it's tipped right into the hands of Deshaya Jones. Correction by me. Benedict running a press defense in the backcourt. Savannah State had real troubles with it in their game last week against Benedict. Allen takes the screen from her. Good hedge by Christmas. Allen kicks it to her. Her, the 17 footer, no good. A rebound, Taylor Christmas. And Amari Hurd is grabbing her ankle. Hopefully she's okay. Savannah State, four on five on the defensive end. Her still on the backside, grimacing her ankle. Her screaming in pain. Hopefully she is okay. Mm. I think she twisted her ankle because I saw her holding her, her ankle. Hopefully Hurd is okay. We'll take an injury timeout. We are watching the Savannah State Athletics on the Black College Sports Network. We'll be right back. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate what it is that you guys, you guys do for us. This is the Dean of the College of HBCU Sports, Kenyatta Cavill of Dr. Cavill's Inside the HBCU Sports Lab with Mike Washington and Charles Bishop. Come mix it up in the lab where the course lecture is in session every Tuesday from 6 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook Live, YouTube, Spreaker, or the BCSN app. With me, the Dean, the College of HBCU Sports on Dr. Cavill's Inside the HBCU Welcome everyone back to the Black College Sports Network where we have Amari Hurd. She got up on her own power, but she'll be taken back to the back. Hopefully she okay. Hopefully she was okay. She was seen grabbing her ankle. Dequasia Lampkin the check in for her. Her the leading scorer for Savannah State. Now the Allen turns the ball over. She tried to hit a no-look pass. It was stepped in front of by Ashby, Amaya Ashby. That actually was about to be a nice pass too. She, <laughs> she looked me off on that pass. <laughs> 
Taylor Christmas, three point ten coming up for Christmas and rattles in by Taylor Christmas. She's been shooting them. Eventually, one got to go in, right? <laughs> Benedict has now cut the deficit down to only three points with seven minutes left in the third quarter. Allen Shields, she's uh, three of her own. She connects. Back-to-back -back three point attempts for both teams after Christmas connected with the three of her own. Natalie Allen responds with a three of herself. Sequasia Lampkin guarding Maya Ashby. Ashby Lampkin, a very good defender. Ashby puts up a left-handed jump hook. No good. Rebound Lawrence. Two shots coming up for Leah Lawrence. And Benedict has been pounding, pounding, and pounding on the offensive glass. And Savannah State got to put a body on the players of Benedict. They have to do better because, you know, these second chance points can come back to bite them. Two shot attempts coming up for Leah Lawrence. First free throw is good by Lawrence. Josiah Holmes will now sub in for Imani Hamilton. And even though Savannah State has a five-point lead right now, Bendix just hanging around and hanging around. Savannah State has to put this team away. That they definitely have to do if you guys were not able to watch the game where they played, I believe, three days ago. Savannah State let Benedict hang around. Benedict ended up taking the lead late, but it gave Savannah State a scare as they did end up winning the game. As this is a Benedict team that will never go away. Three-point attempt coming up for Bird. Rattles in by Maya Bird. It's a great shot by Maya. And the thing is though, hey, if you're a kid playing basketball, you want to figure out how can I get open? How can I get open? It's not just it's not by getting a screen, it's by setting a screen. That's what Maya did. She set the screen, popped out. If you set a good screen and your teammate gets open. Eventually, your man is going to have to help over. And while they help over and you pop out, you get a pass, you have a wide open shot now because you set a good screen. Yes, sir. And then just, just, to, just to come back with that, if you're Benedict, how do you help counter that? If how do you, you counter that? Yeah, how do you counter that? You got to communicate on the screen and you got to know how are we playing now. Are we switching on the screen? Am I hedging just a little bit to give you time to um, get over, fight over the screen? Or is what we're doing, or if you're the primary defender, you got to get in the gap of their screen, you gotta blow it up. You can't let them run off the screen. You can't, and you run into it, now you're trailing. So if you know that the person you're guarding is about to run off one, and then you lock onto them, and you get into that gap between them and the screen, then you're good. That's if you're a primary defender. And that's what I try to do when I'm playing basketball, is try to get into that gap. Because that way I don't get caught by the screen. Because if I'm trailing you, now I'm gonna get caught by the screen, you're able to come off it tight. I can't allow you to come off it tight. I want you to loop around the screen. I need an opening so I can slip through it with you. For both with Savannah State coming out of huddle. They're five on the floor. Be Nyla Allen, Deshaya Jones, Maya Bird, Deshaya Holmes, and Sequasia Lampskin. And this is the first night of the doubleheader here at Tiger Arena. The Savannah State men's will take on the Benedict College Tigers right here from Tiger Arena at 4 o'clock. Benedict will come out of the huddle. They're five. Elasia Nash, Kaya Evans, Taylor Christmas, Amaya Ashby, and Aaliyah Lawrence. Benedict only down eight points. Savannah State traffic in the backcourt. Turnover right into the hands of Tequasia Lampkin. A turnover out of the timeout for Benedict. Something that you do not want coming out of the timeout. Mm. Allen being guarded by Kaya Evans. Great heads by Aaliyah Lawrence. And a foul was committed by Aaliyah Lawrence. Yeah, she stuck her leg out just a little bit on that hedge, and Nyla ran into it, drawing the foul. Jaza Jackson and Madison Golden will sub in for Benedict. Sitting down will be Kaya Evans and Amaya Ashby. Savannah State basketball. Bird, the inbounder, lobs it up to Lampkin. Jones goes baseline, throws up a shot, no good. Two shots will be coming up from Jones. She's just been just drawing fouls left and right, of course, in this game. This is a 12 and 13 free throw attempt. She's been 100% from the free throw line in this game. Two attempts coming up for Jones.
Jones, 12 of 12 from the free throw line so far in this game. Jones, 13 to 13. Mm -hmm. Jashaya Jones is from the free throw line. Deja Jackson, the inbounder. Gets it into Madison Golden, being guarded by Nyla Allen in the backcourt. Savannah State. Golden throws the ball out of bounds. The miscommunication between Golden and Jackson, and it will result in a turnover. Savannah State basketball. And that's what they wanted. It's really since the timeout, I don't think Benedict really got the ball past half court. They've been stuck on this side. Steal right here by Laser Nash. Nash in transition puts up a layup and she is good. That was a great pick. <laughs> great pick. Is she, it basketball? It's called a pick two? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she picked it off like a quarterback. 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 <laughs> quarterback. My bad. My yeah. bad. 19 seconds left on the shot clock. Nyla Allen setting up the offense. Calling the shots. Takes a screen from Lampkin. They double team off the pick and roll. Allen lobs it up. Luckily, Josiah Holmes gets it. Kicks it into Lampkin, and Holmes throws it away. Doing a bit much. Instead of looking to score, she was looking to pass. I don't even think really she was looking at the basket when she had the ball in her hand. It you know was we should start saying that, pick two. Yeah. Make that a thing. Let's make yeah. that a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a great trap by Taylor Christmas, which resulted in Nyla Allen having a lob it up, which, which rust the Savannah State offensive set on that possession. But the ball will go over to the Benedict College Tigers. Both teams go in the timeout, and we will take a timeout break as well. You're watching the Savannah State Athletics on the Black College Sports Network. Protects against flakes, even between washes. It's never not working. Kind of like us. Number 15? Never not working. I don't like this one. Me neither. Let's get out of here. Head and shoulder scalp shield. Never not working. When you're looking for the latest information on Southern University Sports, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, and HBCU Athletics, there's only one place to go. Tune in to the Carlos Brown Show, exclusively on the Black College Sports Network. At CDW, we get speed as the new currency of success. Our team spends way too much time tending to outdated applications and software when they should be focused on driving application agility and innovation. CDW Amplify Development Services modernizes software and application development to help accelerate innovation and digital transformation. So you mean building new applications, UI, and mobile interfaces? Well, you said you needed it. Welcome everyone back to the Black College Sports Network with after a turnover by Deshaya Holmes which results over to a Benedict College possession. They just get it inbound. They inbound it. Deja Jackson lobs it up to Madison Golden. They just break the press by Savannah State. Lawrence being guarded by Lampkin. Lawrence puts up a jump shot, rattles in it, rims in, correction. No one picks up Bird in transition. She goes baseline, trap, lobs it up to Allen. Allen open for three, crossover move, in and out. Kicks out to Josiah Jones. Jones pump fake, goes up with the floater. No good, a rebound to Leah Lawrence. Alasia Nash sprinting up the court, loses Ooh. her dribble. We call to have a foul on Josiah Jones. Whoa. They called a foul on that? Whoa. I believe Nash just lost her footing. <laughs> right. She just lost her footing. Wow. <laughs> that would be a call on Really, Jones. she tried to do a, uh, a stride stop and then decided to pass it behind her, but no one was there. And lost her footing on the stride stop. Nash bounce passes to Golden. Golden over Holmes. No good. Rebound Leah Lawrence, who's been a monster on the glass. She puts up a shot. No good. Rebound Lawrence again. Puts up a shot. No good. Rebound Maya Bird. And it'll be a foul on Deja Jackson. You have to box out. So Man State's not done a good job boxing out, even though they have the lead. When, when you box out, it's not just putting a body on someone, it's driving them outside the paint, too. Savannah's still holding a six point lead. The Benedict now hedging on the screen set by Savannah State. 12 seconds left on the shot. As you can see, now they trap mm -hmm. Allen. Allen. I was looking. wondering when they was going to start doing that. Allen goes baseline, looking, looking, kicks it out to Bird. Bird for three. No good. Rebound Nash. 
Ooh, ooh, hopefully Bird is okay. Bird and Alasia Nash body both collided. I hope she's all right. Look like her back is hurting a little bit. Yeah. But what went wrong is the shot clock had went off and it was never reset yeah. after Maya Bird's three point attempt. It should have been reset to 20. Did they call foul on that? I'm still trying, I'm still as clueless as you are. We're still trying to see. The referees are talking it over with head coach James Rice. You know, they just want a little bit of TV time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're able to get an explanation on the call. You don't get an explanation, but it will remain Savannah State's ball with 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Deshae Holmes, the inbounder. Bounce pass it to Lampkin. I think that's what he was trying to tell Coach Rice is that the shot clock was never reset. Deshae Holmes with the free throw line jump shot. No good off the back of the rim. Rebound Taylor Christmas. She'll hand it off to Deja Jackson being guarded by Maya Bird. Bird still grabbing that back yep. of her. Shot on the shot clock yeah. problem. It never reset to 30. Stayed on 18. Referee Walter Cooler noticed the shot clock problem. He'll walk over to the scores table. They just reset the shot clock to 30 seconds. Shot clock being reset in 26 seconds. At the start of the referee by at the start of the whistle by Leah Johnson, the shot clock will start. Jackson inbounds it to Christmas. And Lazer Nash takes a screen for Christmas. Wait a Goes the inside screen. with the layup. No good. She's out of control. Rebound to Quasia Lampkin. Another jump ball. And it will remain Savannah State's possession. Referees is trying to work out now. It's a lead official, Walter, Walter Quiller. Quiller, is over there by the scores table. I wonder what it is he's trying to work out. Head coach James Rice talking to Leon Cohen. Hmm. Meanwhile, we have a six-point game, Travis. Yep. Very good game here, if I do say so myself, yeah. in the third quarter. Savannah State holding a six-point lead after being down in the first quarter. They fought back in the second, took the lead. And when you said this is a flip of Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty but you much. see Benedict, you know, reverting back to trapping like they did yeah. in the second half. Uh, on Wednesday against Savannah State at, at Savannah College in South Carolina. And it, you know, it's been working out for them, but they're not helping up the pressure defensively like they did either. They're not in the jersey, the bird. They're not in their jerseys, you know, pressuring them, forcing them and rushing them like they once was. But they're trapping here once again. They just trapped Deshaun mm -hmm. Jones. As you just said. Allen with a series of crossover. What a great move by Nyla Allen. Yeah, She's good with yeah. the floater. That's just being good at basketball right there. That's just flat out skill. Eight point lead, Savannah State holds. 57 49 in the third quarter with two minutes and 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Madison Golden being guarded by Tequasia Lampkin. Golden holding it. 10 seconds left. Nine, eight. Golden kicks it out. Aaliyah Lawrence for three. She's no good. Rebound, Nyla Allen. Allen will push the pace. She's looking, does not have the numbers. Goes baseline, floater again from Allen. Again with the floater from Nyla Allen. From the left, the right, from the middle, does that matter? Nyla Allen has connected. You know, and that's something I didn't say at the beginning of the game, is that they have to do a better job at containing Nyla Allen for she's just been having her way against them. It's just floater after floater after floater for Nyla Allen. Madison Golden runs out of dribbles, passes to Briasia Lester, who's checked in for Taylor Christmas. Lester will take Josiah Holmes. And we'll have a foul on Nyla Allen. Allen looking nope. at referee. They Leon called that on Holmes. Yeah. I actually disagree with that call. If you want to, if you're going to call a foul, it should have been on Nyla instead. But I honestly think it's Nyla's fault that Holmes 
Drew got that foul, and that's her fourth foul. And that's something that you see head coach Cedric Baker talking to Nyla Allen about. We have two shots coming up for Briaja Lester. I think Nyla should have helped over a little bit sooner too as well to disrupt and discourage the drive altogether. No good by Lester on the first free throw attempt. Especially considering that Holmes uh, can get beat off the dribble, you definitely need to be more over to help Holmes. Lester goes one and two from the free throw line. Taylor Crystal now subbed in for Lester. Looks like Benedict is now in a zone, a 2-3 zone. They play on the defensive end. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Jones passes it out to Allen on the left elbow. Nyla Allen, cross-court pass to Burr. Burr, what a great move. Gets it inside from the bent race jump shot. No good. A rebound to Leah Lawrence. That ball was kicked out of bounds by Josiah Holmes. It will still remain Benedict's ball. Let's see what that zone would do for them. I think they just want to keep Nyla out the paint. Yeah. Because she's just been having her way inside. And she's the shortest person on the court. <laughs> and Lazia Nash out of control. Lies it up to Deja Jackson. Jackson being guarded by Allen. Hands it out to Aaliyah Lawrence. Lawrence like she wanted to shoot the three. Hesitated. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Nash puts up a mid-range jump shot. Rims out. Rebound Maya Bird. And the foul will be on Deja Jackson as Bird boxes Jackson out on the rebound attempt. The thing is, though, Holmes did a great job on boxing out Christmas on that possession. I don't know if anybody see that, seen that. You know, I, I've developed the ability to look off the ball and not be memorized by the ball, but she did a great job boxing out Christmas and making sure she didn't get it. Amari Hurst will sub into the game for Sequoia Lampkin. Hurd looking as if she is okay after the scary fall attempt at the start of the third quarter, but Hurd is back on the floor. Burr connects from the first free throw attempt. You know, Savannah State's actually done amazing on free throws for their a team that are not the best when it comes to shooting free throws, and that's been the downfall for them in quite a few games, but they've done great from the free throw line this game. Bear goes two for two from the free throw line with the 11 point lead Savannah State has, 61 to 50. We're just under a minute in the third quarter. Golden calling out the shots, kicks it out to Jackson. Jackson gets it inside with deep position by Taylor Christmas. Misses on the bunny layup, rebound to Shia Holmes. And even though she missed that layup, she did great. Sealing Seal. inside, like getting deep position deep before pos she got the ball. She did her work early. But that was great help too on the backside for Holmes. Her cross court pass to Josiah Jones. Jones kicks it to Allen. 14 seconds left on the shot clock. Allen with a great move inside. And she's just quick. She's just flat out just quick. No shot clock remaining in the third quarter. Deja runs out of dribble, looking. Pass it to Nash. Nash puts up a three of her own. No good off the back of the rim. Rebound to Mari Hurd. Savannah State will hold for the final shot. Seven seconds, six seconds. Allen sprinting up the floor, looking. Splits the double team. Puts up another floater again. Count the basket and a foul. Back-to-back -back baskets from Nyla Allen. Three-point play opportunity coming up for Nyla Allen. And you're just not going to beat Savannah State with Nyla just getting inside, knocking down floaters left and right like that, the way she is right now this game. She is feeling it right now. Allen looking to connect on the three-point play opportunity, and it just does go in. And Nyla is a great free throw shooter. She shoots 87% from the free throw line in previous seasons. She shot 90% from the free throw line. She's just an overall great free throw shooter. I believe we had a clock issue. Both teams will come back onto the floor. It's 22 seconds left in the third quarter. So 22? Savannah State with a 16-point lead. You got how many seconds? <laughs> hey, man, the band's kind of loud, man. Shout out to Savannah State 
marching band. They're amazing. They're top five or top top three somewhere around there in the Division Two band. That will be the end of this third quarter at the Madison Golden hands the ball off to referee Eli Elijah Johnson. Savannah State with a 16-point lead going into the fourth quarter. We'll be right back at the start of the fourth quarter. I'm your host, Travis Petty. Alongside me is Jamal Rowland. You are watching Savannah State Athletics on the Black College Sports Network. We'll be right back at the start of the fourth quarter. More quickly. Oh, so he's a listener. To do more at scale, trust CDW Amplified Development Services. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K E A V E R S V O I C E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Back to the Black College Sports Network on Savannah State Athletics. Savannah State with the 16-point lead at the start of the fourth quarter with both teams coming out of timeout. Mm -hmm. And the explosion by Nyla is the reason why they was able to extend their lead to this magnitude, 16 points right now, before it was about 6-7. Madison Golden regained the handle on the kicks it to Kaya Dan, who throws up a high arcer. No good. A rebound, Nyla Allen. Allen looking. She has the numbers. She loves to push the pace and fast break, but decides to bring it out. Running out of dribble. She's looking. She's looking. Looking. Lives it up to Maya Bird. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Bird with a screen with screen from her. She will take it. Bird, crossover move. Bounce pass to Imani Hamilton. Eight seconds left. Imani Hamilton throws up a shot. No good, and she was fouled. Two shots will be coming up for Imani Hamilton. The foul will be on number 15, Leah Lawrence. Two shots coming up for Hamilton. Hamilton has had a very quiet night so far. First free throw just bounces in. The five on the floor for Savannah State. Number 15, Nyla Allen. Number two, Maya Bird. Amari Hurd, Deshaya Jones, and Imani Hamilton. Hurd, two or two from the free throw line. She goes. Bree, Asia Lester checking in at the scores table. Madison Golden will take a seat. Lester will replace her. Hey, basketball is a game of runs. Savannah State now up 18 points. Let's see how Benedict responds and then how Savannah State responds to that response. <laughs> have a foul in the backcourt by Deshaya Jones on the Malaysia Nash. Deja Jackson, the inbounder. She just gets it into number three, Kyla Daniels, being guarded by Amari Hurd. Daniels hands it off to Lester. Golden out, kicks it to Lester. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Go to backdoor screen. No good by Elasia Nash. It was a great backdoor screen by Benedict. Nash just couldn't connect on the layup. Allen hands it off to Jones. Amari, sorry, correction, Maya Burt takes the screen from Imani Hamilton. Amari Hurt sets the screen for Jones. Jones being harassed. Jones, good pass to Maya Bird. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Hurd gets deep position, kicks it out to the corner for Jones. One second left. Jones has to put up a shot, and she does it. Shot clock violation on Savannah State University. See, the bench has to let the players on the court know, hey, three, two, one, to get a shot up. Because I don't, just, just shy was in the corner, so she can't really see the shot clock. She would have to let no one let her know how much time was left on the shot clock. Daniels looking to receive a screen from Madison Golden. She bounce has it to Breasia Lester, who's being guarded by Hamilton. Imani Hamilton 
Seven seconds left on the shot clock. What a great give and go from Nash. Great, great rejection by Maya Burr on the backside. Help. That's a great block. Four seconds left on the shot clock. The ball will remain in Benedict's possession. The person that Maya was guarding brought her brought Maya to the ball for that block. We have a turnover on the inbound. Deja looking to bounce pass to Madison Golden. They didn't connect. Jones being guarded by Nash. She hands it off to Nyla Allen with 19 seconds left on the shot clock. Allen being guarded by Daniels. Amari Burr, cross-court pass to Deshaya Jones. Just was able to stay in bounds. Pass it to Burr. Burr with a great move. Oh, that will be called on Savannah State, number 33, Kendra Williams, the sophomore out of Jacksonville, Florida. It'll be her 